Sweden once again looking dangerous. And that really should have been the opening goal just wide. Four minutes, minutes gone, but what a chance this was. Yeah, again here, it just looks, Sega's running forward. No one's tracking her through midfield. Um, and I, th I think England in Looking for Ellen White. It's come to Scott, though. Ooh, and it might fall for White here. Yeah. Good chance for England. And there is the opening goal. Ellen White scores. And it's Sweden nil. That it so comfortably. But here's just a mistake by Rowling. And I think initially I was looking at Alex thinking that's not a good enough ball to pass for her, but she does well with it. It should be along the floor. It's high up in the air, but she does well just the one touch to put it into Ellen White. Ball over the top. Good chance here for Sweden to equalise. 1-1. One, one. Tucked into the corner. Initially, but she just runs in the inside channel of Alex Scott and she doesn't quite, she's a great take actually, just puts it into a path and Alex just waiting to see what she does rather than just getting that yard round her a little bit more to to be able to not allow her through on goal, but she does well to put that one in the bottom right corner. It's a smart finish. Williams winning it back briefly for England, but Sega has it now. A decent cross in as well, and Sweden have taken the lead. It's bundled over the line by Schelling. Not getting the challenges. I just the last few f five minutes or so, I think Sweden they started it well as well, just being a bit more physical, getting that touch in the in the 50-50s. And here, this is Shell lots of Schelling all over. She can score some amazing, beautifully crafted goals, but also she's in the right place at the right time to stick out those that long leg and just get the wrong side. And think that very nearly able to pick out a teammate, but England in trouble here. Sega, and it is three for Sweden. Just over five so minutes. Does well here to put, apply pressure in the first place, but unfortunately for Anita, she slips to concede possession. But but then when it's put into the path of Sega, she's very close against Schelling, just knows where she is and does well enough just to take it away from Sophie. Scott, the chance to run a goal. Finds Carney. Good ball from Carney. And it's gone behind. England. Yeah, it's a good little bit of play. Alex, for Alex Scott coming forwards, but it actually comes off at any uh, loop. Both sides. And Schelling is th through again here. Brown came out to claim it. Couldn't get there. Will Schelling turn it in? She has done. So if you here, I think you just see the, the pace and the ability of Schelling just to get in the right place at the right time, right on Sophie Bradley's back shoulder. And Sophie's not slow, but Shelling, she's just that yard, gets that little, just in behind her, she can't, and Sophie Bradley can't get back. And Brown comes out, but she just toes it past. And this is a bit unfortunate here. Take the corner. So header off the crossbar from Rollin. And, uh, just about got it away. It has gone behind for Close a goal, making it five. You see, Rowland's actually unmarked at the back. Kaz Carney slightly. I mean, the way England defend with set pieces, very much zonal marking, so there tends to be always an outnumbered somewhere. But she's given a lot of time to put that head because of Sophie Bradley's injury. Shogren going for goal and tipped away by Brown. Again, just to allow just a little too much space and time.